In this video tutorial, we're going to look at something called looping. Looping is basically a way in programming to quickly run through a whole bunch of different records. It uh, allows you to do repetitive tasks automatically. You can think of it as like a conveyor belt, if you will, or automatic card shuffler. You see looping used a lot in situations where maybe you have a whole bunch of records from a database, like a list of a thousand products, and you want to put this in a table in your HTML page, and you want to format all the prices, uh, you want to make the text bold. You would use looping in JavaScript to uh, automate the process, to do it all automatically. So to be clear, loops or looping is a built-in mechanism that uh, comes built in with JavaScript and it's actually very common in just about every programming language I've ever used. It's one of the key powers of programming of computers, the ability to do repetitive tasks automatically and looping allows you to do this. In JavaScript there are several different types of looping mechanisms that you can use. We're going to concentrate on two. We're going to look at the while loop and the for loop. Okay, we have a simple HTML page here, and you've noticed in uh, the body, I've uh, created our script block here, and here's our first loop. Now, it's called the while loop, and you can see why it's called the while loop, and this is how it works. So, first thing you need to do is you need to create a variable. So, I just called it var a. I could have called it anything you want, and I said var a had a value of zero. So, you'll see how and why this is going to be used in our loop. So here's the while loop. It looks kind of like, and it works kind of like an if statement, where you have the, uh, instead of if, you have while, and then you have your opening and closing brackets, and where you're checking to see if this is true or false, and then you have your curly brackets. So basically, as long as this is uh, false, as long as this is true, rather, anything in between these curly brackets will get executed. So let me look at the code. So we're saying while the variable a is less than 10, you're going to do this. And when as soon as a is no longer less than 10, when it becomes 10, this while loop will stop looping. So it's very much like the if statement, except the while repeats itself over and over and over again until this becomes false, right? So in this case, when as long as a is less than 10, and we know it's 10 right from the beginning, we know it's less than 10 because we set it to 0. We could have set it to 2 or 3 or whatever we want, but I'm just going to keep it at 0. So while a is less than 10, we want to write something to the page. So we're writing the a, so it's going to write the value of a, and plus the plus sign in JavaScript basically allows you to to combine things and write it to the page. And I think we've looked at document dot write before, and this is a built-in function in JavaScript that allows you to write to the page. So, and we're going to use it here just for the sake of uh, our little example. So we're saying while a is less than 10, you're going to write to the page the value of a, and you're going to write a dash beside it, right? We've got the quotes here, and we use quotes because this is a string, right? A uh, string of text. I hope you remember that from a pre previous video. Another thing I'm doing is I'm using the Firebug console, console.log, to log the value of a at the same time. Now here's the interesting thing. You see a++. This is an operator. We've looked at operators before, where an operator operates on variables, if you recall. So we got the variable a, and we got it here too. And what we're saying is that every time this loop runs, right, as long as a is less than 10, we want you to write this, log some to the console, and we want you to a++. Plus plus. plus plus means simply to increase the value of the variable a by 1. That's what plus plus means. And on the reverse side, there's minus minus. But for our example, we're going to go plus plus. So basically what we're saying here is that every time we run the loop, we want you to increase the value of a by 1, right? Because eventually, 
We want A to increase, so it hits 10, so it's not less than 10, so this loop stops looping. So let's take a look at uh, how this looks in the actual web page. So here's our page, and you notice we have the uh, the uh, page has been written 0-1-2.3, etc. And if you look at our code, that's what we told it to do. We said write uh, the value of a plus a dash as long as a is less than 10. So we go here, so it started off at 0 because we started with the variable at 0. That was the initial value. So it writes, okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. So let's uh, change this. Let's say uh, we'll do it until 20. So I'm going to save that and we'll just reload the page. As you can see, it increases up to 19. Pretty cool, right? We could have started this at 4, for instance. Save this and we reload. And you see it starts at 4. The loop, the while loop, automatically repeats itself as long as whatever is in between this and this bracket is uh, true. So it's very much like the if statement except this is repetitive. So a lot of you may be asking why did you put this line of code here? Why did you have to put A++? Well that prevents what uh, some people would call uh, the endless loop from occurring. You see if I didn't put this A++, A would never increment, right? This is the incremental operator. Increment means, you know, increment from, from 0, or, well, in this case, we'll start at 0, from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. That's an incrementation of the number. So if you don't increment the variable as you're looping, A will never go up. It will always stay at its original value 0. So it will always be less than, in this case, 20. What happens is that you will get an infinite loop, and basically the browser will just keep running the while loop infinitely. It will never stop because this will always stay true, right? A will never go change from zero, will never become equal to 20. And what happens in that situation, I'm not going to demo it because I'm just going to crash the web browser. The browser will just keep running the while loop infinitely. So you always got to remember when you're creating while loops, and any loops for that matter, you have to make sure you don't sit, sit yourself up for a situation where you have an infinite loop where you crash the system. So uh, you'll learn more about that as you get into more loops later on, but that's why we have this A++ here. We're making sure that the value of A does increase every cycle of the loop. In part two, we're going to look at something called a for loop. It's a variation, it's another type of looping mechanism built into JavaScript, and I'll help you to understand what all this, uh, this nerd stuff here, what this means, and I'll help you to understand the difference between the while loop versus the for loop.